Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this towel here with the um, turtleneck on it. Ain't it a beauty? That's pretty, isn't it? I think it turned out nice. I like it. Now, like I always say, I don't normally consider myself looking too good in crochet, but I'm the only one to model this because my daughter won't do it for me. So hopefully I can do it justice. So it's not, it does, um, I would consider it an intermediate pattern, but beginners, feel free to give it a go as long as you know how to do like a double, you know, single, triple crochet, you might, I, you'll probably be able to do it. So, um, don't, don't be scared, but ain't that beautiful? That is beautiful. So it's made with, uh, the triangles made first, and then we sew it to, or we hook it together at the back, and then we put this cow neck on it at the end. It was color controlled, in case you were wondering. That means I used a long striped cake and I cut the collars off at the end of each row and started a new color. Otherwise the collars would not have went accordingly striped like this. It would, it would have, uh, different colors would have stopped everywhere, but you're more than welcome to do it however you'd like. So what do you say? You wanna get started on it? I know you can do it, even if you're a beginner. You grab that hook and let's do it. All right, here's a closer look at the stitches. I think it turned out pretty good. I like it. I think it's very pretty. The color is very pretty. All right, and it's really pretty quick. So let's get that out of the way and I'll show you what I use. So for this project, I use Caron. So for this project, I use regular Caron cakes. Now these are an acrylic wool blend, 80 acrylic, 20 wool and they are a medium weight number four you don't have to use this yarn any medium weight number four will work there's approximately 383 yards i got a bit left i'm going to say you're going to need about just to be on the safe side 300 yards of yarn um, to complete this project um, i was able to do it with one cake and i still had some left now as i mentioned i did color control this which means um i started with one color i did one a couple rows with one color and then I cut it off and I started my new row with another color and then even if it wasn't finished I still cut it off pulled it out went to the next color and um, I just controlled where I wanted my stripes to fall you don't have to do that you can let them fall however they want or you can use solid color however you choose and then I'm going to be using a size J which is a six millimeter crochet hook all right we are going to start off with a slip knot on our hook. Just like that. And now we are going to do a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we are going to slip stitch into the very first stitch to form a ring. Now we're going to start off with a chain four. Now this chain four is going to count as a triple crochet here and for the rest of the pattern it will always be a triple crochet. So we are going to work seven triple crochets through the center of the ring. So go right through the center of the ring and draw your loop through and then just do your triple crochet. And we want to do a total of seven. So this one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we did our seven triples. And then if we count that chain four as a triple, which we said we we're going to do, we'll have a total of eight triple crochets there. So you can slide them over a bit. And now we are going to work a chain of one, just one. And now we're going to work eight triple crochets again into the center of the ring.
<clears throat> excuse me and there is eight and that will end row one you'll have 16 triple crochets counting that chain four there so what we're going to do is pull that um, tail and it'll close up that center circle a little bit more and then we can always sew it together more later so now at the end of uh, row one you'll have 16 triples and then you'll have a chain one space so for row two we are going to work a chain one and we are going to turn our work so that chain one is not counting as a stitch it doesn't count as anything it's just a turning chain <clears throat> so we are going to put one double crochet into this very first stitch right here a double and then we're going to work a chain of three so there's one two three and then we're going to put a double crochet into the very next stitch like that now we are going to kind of start the repeat of, of this row we are going to chain one skip one so skip this one and double crochet into the next and we will repeat that until we get to our chain one space so we're going to chain one skip one and double crochet into the next like that and then we're going to chain one skip one and double crochet into the next and now we're at the point of our cowl right here this chain one space is the point so now we are going to work a chain of five one two three four and five we're going to skip this chain one space and we are going to double crochet into the very next stitch and then we're going to repeat what we did on the other side so we're going to chain one skip one double into the next and we're going to chain one skip one double into the next chain one skip one double into the next and we'll have one stitch left so we want to end it the same way that we started over here so what we're going to do is chain three and a double crochet into the last stitch here just like that and that'll end around or row two I'm sorry and what you'll have at the end of row two that tail just keeps getting in my way <laughs> you'll have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten double crochets so now we're going to start row three and we are going to chain four which remember we count that as a triple crochet and turn our work now we are going to do a shell into the next chain three space so this very first chain three space is where we're going to put our shell okay so now a shell with this pattern is seven triple crochets into the same stitch so we're going to into this chain three space we're going to work seven triple crochets and that's going to create our shell
just like that. So there's our shell. Now I'm going to skip the chain one, this chain one space here, and I'm going to single crochet into the next chain one space, so right here. Like that. And then I'm going to skip one chain one space, so I'm going to skip this one, and then I'm going to do a double shell right here in this chain five space. So the double shell is worked in the point of the cowl. So we're skipping this chain one space and we're going to go directly into this big chain five space. And the double shell is seven triple crochets, a chain one, and seven triple crochets all into the same stitch. Okay, and that's always worked whenever we get to the point here, the chain five point. So let's go ahead and start into that chain five and we're gonna work seven triples There's seven, and now we're gonna do a chain of one, and we're gonna go back into the same space and work seven more triple crochets. So that's how we do the double shell. I always recommend you counting. It's a good idea. I always stop and count here to make sure. Okay, now we're gonna continue along. And we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side to this side, just so the sides match up. So we are going to skip this chain space here and we are going to single crochet into the next. So you just go right through the space and single crochet. And again, we're going to skip the next single or the next chain space here. And this last big chain three space, we are going to put a shell in it. So it will be th seven triple crochets into this last big chain three space. So there's my seven triples. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a triple crochet into the last stitch right here. And that'll end row three. So for row three, you'll have one double sh shell and two irregular shells here. So now we're gonna start row four. We're gonna chain one and turn our work. Now remember that chain one does not count as a stitch. It's just a turning chain. So we're gonna do a double crochet into that very first stitch. And then we're gonna chain three. And then we're gonna put a double crochet into the very next stitch. 
like that. Now we are going to chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. We are going to repeat that until we get to the single crochet down here. So we're going to chain one, skip one, double into the next. Chain one, skip one, and double into the next. Just like that. So there's our single crochet. What we're going to do now is chain five. And this chain five is where we will put a shell on the next round. So we're going to skip that single crochet completely and we're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch like that and then we're going to chain one skip one double into the next and we're going to do this until we get to the um, point of our cowl chain one skip one double into the next chain one skip one double into the next and now we are going to do a chain of five. And that's where we'll put our shell stitches on the next round. So we'll start over again by double crocheting into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, double into the next. We're gonna do this until we get to the single crochet down here. Chain one, skip one, double into the next, chain one, skip one, double into the next. I'm at my single crochet. I am going to chain five. I'm going to skip that single crochet and double into the next. Chain one, skip one, double into the next, chain one, skip one, double into the next. We're gonna do this till we get to our last stitch. Chain one, skip one, double into the next. And then we're gonna end by chaining three and double crocheting into the last stitch. That'll end round four. So what we did on round four is we made the chain spaces to put the shells in our next round. So these chain five spaces that we made, are going to be shells and then this one right here the point of the cowl will be the double shell so every um, other row we make chain spaces for the shells and then the next row we make the shells so let's continue to round five and this will be where we make the shells so we're going to start off with a chain of four which always counts as a triple crochet and we're going to turn our work now we are going to put a shell in this very first chain three space So seven doubles, there's one, two, three, four, five, Seven. That's seven. <clears throat> seven doubles, not counting that chain four. We don't count that. So we put seven into that chain three space right there. So we are going to skip the next chain space right here. And we're going to single crochet into the next. And then we are going to skip this chain space. And we're going to shell into this big chain five space. So it's going to be seven triple crochets. One, two, three, four, and there's seven, like that. Go on a skip the first chain one space, single crochet into the next, like that. Skip this chain one space and now we're at the chain five space. 
So what we're going to do is seven triples, chain one, and seven triples. So we're skipping this chain space here and going directly into our chain five and working our double shell. So seven triples. So there's seven, chain one, and then seven more into the same space. Okay, now we are going to skip this chain space here, single crochet into the next. And then we'll skip this one right here. And then we're going to do a regular shell right here in this chain five space. So seven double crochets into that space, or seven, I'm sorry, seven triple crochets into that space. There's seven. Skip this chain one space and single into the next. Skip this chain one space and this chain three space on the end, we do a shell. So we put seven triple crochets into it. There's one. And then we're going to do a triple crochet into our last stitch. That will end around five. That's our shell stitch round. Let's see what we got now. So now this time we have two, four regular shells in one of the double shells. So that's what it's kind of looking like. So round six, we are going to do the chain space round for our shells. So we are going to chain one and turn our work. Remember that chain one does not count as anything. It's just a turn chain. And we're going to double crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going to chain three. And we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. Like that. Just like that. Now we are going to chain one, skip one, double into the next. This might seem a little bit familiar chain one, skip one, double into the next. We're going to do this until we get to this single crochet right here. Chain one, skip one, double into the next. Now we're at the chain, or we're at the single crochet here. We're going to do a chain of five, so we can put a shell in that in the next round. Skip the single crochet, jump to the next stitch, and double crochet. And repeat the chain one, skip one, double into the next. Chain one, skip one, double into the next. Chain one, skip one, double into the next. And now we're at a single crochet again. So again, we're going to chain five, skip the single crochet, and double into the next. We're just adding more shells every row. That's all we're doing. Chain one, 
skip one, double into the next. We're going to repeat this till we get to the point of our cowl. Chain one, skip one, double. Chain one, skip one, double. Now we are at the point. This is the chain one space. We're going to do a chain of five so we can put a shell there, a double shell there next time. And then we're going to do what we did over here, over here. So we're going to start off by double crocheting into the first stitch. Chain one, skip one, double into the next. Repeat this until we get to our single, first single crochet. Chain one, skip one, double into the next. Chain one, skip one, double into the next. And as you can see, we are at our single crochet. That means we have to do a chain five. Every time we reach a single crochet, we gotta do a chain five. And we skip it and double crochet directly into the next stitch. And then we start our chain one, skip one, double into the next. Chain one, skip one, double into the next chain one, skip one, double into the next, and I am at a single crochet again. And you know what we have to do when we had a single crochet. We got a chain five, skip that single crochet, and double into the next stitch. And then we repeat, we repeat this, chain one, skip one, double, chain one, skip one, double into the next, chain one, skip one, double into the next. And then we're gonna go ahead and chain three and double crochet into the very last stitch. Just like that. That'll end round six. Now, we made chain spaces for the shells. So we'll get the shells here in the chain three spaces and shells in these chain five spaces. And then we'll get a double shell down here at the point. So it's just a repeat now of rows five and six. So every time you hit a shell row, you're going to have two more regular shells than you did the row before. So here on row three, we had two regular shells and one double shell. And then on row four, we did the chain spaces. Row five, we have one, we have two, four regular shells, and then the double shell. You always have one double shell. And then on row seven, which we're getting ready to start, we're going to have two, four, six regular shells and the double shell. So you'll always have two more regular shells than you did the previous shell row. And you'll always have one double shell. So I'm just going to keep repeating rows five and six. If you need to remind me, that's fine. Until I get my cow um, a length that I want it to be that I feel comfortable with. So I'm gonna go continue along and I'll let you know how many rows um, of repeating five and six that I do. Okay, I repeated rows um, five and six until I reached a total of 13 rounds. So I ended in a shell round. Now I'm going to put it together. So I'm going to take it. Let me see what I'm going to do here. Why don't we just start here at the end and grow, go across the top with some single crochet and try to clean up all them edges. Excuse all my tails. I just got them hanging around everywhere. So kind of just start right here in the corner. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of evenly place some single crochets across. Um, all the way across the top. So I chained one and I'm going to go back in that same stitch and I'm going to single crochet. Like that. Now the amount of single crochets that you have um, isn't important now. All we need to do is make sure that we evenly kind of evenly space them out across the top the best that we can. So there's no certain number that you have to have to make the collar work. Just do your best to space them out all along the top. It's 
it's not going to be perfect not going to be the exact you're not going to have the exact same number I do and that's fine I probably won't even count mine because it's, it's not important but I'm just going to continue working across the top evenly spacing out my single crochets here until I get to the other side And this is just going to clean up these edges here. So just like that. Like I said, it's not perfect. It's crooked and stuff, but don't worry. Once we get the it all put together, it'll look better. So continue across until you get all the way across here until you get to the end uh, evenly spacing out your single crochets. All right I've made it all the way across with the row of single crochet. Like I said I'm not going to count because it doesn't matter how many you have. Now here's the back side of my work. I'm going to fold it over here and I'm going to slip stitch with the first single crochet over here on this side that we made. So now it's slip stitched together. See that? So there's the front of our work. It's slip stitched together. Now I'm going to do a row of decreases, single crochet decreases to kind of uh, make the cowl area a little bit not so big. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet back in that same stitch. And then I am going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then I'm going to work a single crochet decrease over the next two stitches. A single crochet decrease is always worked over two stitches. So what we do is we go into the next stitch and we draw up a loop and then the next one and we draw up a loop and we yarn over and go through all three. That took two stitches and made it into one. So now I'm going to kind of repeat that pattern. I'm going to do one single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, and then single crochet decrease over the next two. So go into the next one, draw up a loop, and then into the next one, draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three loops. Again, one single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, and single crochet decrease over the next two. So go into the next one, and the next one again, yarn over, and go through all three loops. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all along the collar area until we get right back over here to our starting point. So one single into the next two stitches and then single crochet decrease over the next two like that. One single crochet into the next two stitches and then single crochet decrease over the next two just like that. So I'm going to keep going until I get back to my starting point. All right, I have made it back to the beginning. Now, it does not matter what you ended with, whether you ended in one single crochet, or whether you ended in a decrease, it does not matter. The stitch count does not matter. So any number of stitches work right now. Now, this is going to be, let's see, we did the first row of single crochet will be row one of the cow. The second row where we did the decreases is row two. So we just finished row two of the cowl. So we're going to go ahead and end up by slip stitching into the first single crochet. Now we're going to work double crochets. But we want the cowl to fold over. And we want the right side of the stitches to show. So in order for that to happen, we need to chain one and turn our work. We're going to be working on the opposite side like this, backwards. That way... When we fold our cowl over, the stitches will be facing right side. So now all I'm going to do is work around putting one double crochet. So I chained one, and I'm going to go ahead and put a double crochet back in that same stitch. And I'm going to work around, and I'm going to do rounds of one double crochet in every stitch. So that's what my cowl is going to be. It's just double crochet cowl. And then remember, the number of stitches you have at the end of every row does not matter. As long as um, 
once you finish this row of double crochet and you count your stitches you got to make sure every row after that has the same number but there's no certain uh, multiple for the cowl so I'm just working one double crochet in every stitch all the way around until I get back around to my starting point Remember, we're working on the back side of our work now, so when we fold our cowl down, the right side of the double crochets will be showing. Alright, I have made it back around. So I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first double crochet, and I'm just going to keep a repeating that round. That was round three of the cowl round one was the single crochet round two was single crochet decreased round three was the double crochet round and i'm just gonna chain one double crochet back in the same stitch for round four and i'm just gonna keep repeating round three round of double crochet until i get my cowl um tall enough to where when it folds over it looks good to me you know the length and everything some people like taller cowls, some people like shorter ones, just your preference. But I'm going to keep going um, on round four, and when I'm putting one double crochet in every stitch, and when I make it back around, I'm going to end with a slip stitch, chain one, and start again, working another round of one double crochet in every stitch. And I'm going to continue doing the rounds of one double crochet in every stitch. And I will let you know here in just a second how many total rounds I do. Okay, I have made it around and I have done a total of six rows of double crochet and then I had the, okay, the two rows of single. So I had the regular row of singles, row one, the decrease row of single, row two, then I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight total, six of them being the double crochet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one row of edging at the top. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm going to flip it right side out now, like that. Now I'm working on the right side of my stitches, okay? And I'm going to do a row of reverse single crochet. My goodness, look at all these tails. I apologize. How embarrassing. I'll get rid of those <laughs> soon. So I'm working on the right side now because I folded uh, my cowl down and now the right side is right side of the stitches are facing me. And I'm going to do a row of reverse single crochet. So I'm starting in the back somewhere. You can start in any stitch. And I'm going to go ahead and pull my yarn through and I'm going to chain one. Reverse single crochet is very easy but it makes a nice pretty edge. So I'm going to go right back in that same stitch and single crochet. Now what I'm going to do is put a single crochet in every stitch, but I'm working in reverse. Normally I would go this way since I'm right-handed, but instead I'm going to go backwards. That's why we call it the reverse single crochet. So I'm going to go into the next stitch and I'm going to single crochet, just like that. So it's real easy. The next one, single crochet. It just kind of makes like a little twisty loop type of thing at the top. You don't, you know, if you don't like it, you don't have to do it. That's fine. You can leave it plain or some other type of edge. But it's just one single crochet in every stitch around the top. We're working the single crochet the same as we always do. We're just working it um, in the opposite direction. It is a little awkward, I guess, at first. But once you get used to it, it's real easy. It just flies by. Just like that. And you can see that's what it kind of looks like. Makes a little twisty edge. So I'm going to keep doing this all the way around. With one reverse single crochet in every stitch. Until I get to my starting point. Some people call this the crab stitch. Maybe you've heard it called that. I normally just call it reverse single. But I'm going to continue around until I get back to my starting point. 
All right, once you make it back around to your starting point, just go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first reverse single crochet. And then we will tie that off. And then we can hide any remaining tails that we have. All right, once you get hiding your get done hiding your tails that's it that's all there is to it i hope you enjoyed my tutorial i think it turned out really really nice i like it i do this will be a gift to i don't know probably go to my sister she gets most of my stuff so or my sister-in-law <laughs> so if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any of my tutorials or yarn talk i do a lot of yarn talk because i love yarn you know us yarnies and if you make this i'd really love to see a picture of it you can post a picture on my bag of day crochet facebook page i'll put a link to that below in the description box but that's it. Oh, and you can follow me on Instagram. Show me a picture there, too. But that's it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a good night.